From NBC News, this is Today with Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie. Back now at 845 with today's kitchen, how to be a better home cook. And this morning we're focusing on men because the kitchen is quickly becoming the new man cave. It's happening in homes across the country. They're sharpening their tools and preparing for battle. There will be blood, fire, and of course, bacon. As men everywhere invade the kitchen. 10 or 15 years ago, there was sort of a stigma against guys really liking cooking. The guys only were allowed near the grill, but that's changed. We're actually allowed inside the kitchen as well now. Recent studies show married men are cooking a whopping 34 meals a month. That's roughly eight meals a week. Still a bit behind their female counterparts, but the gap is closing quickly. There's something that really appeals to the male mind about the sort of primal nature of cooking. This is beef. Dan Duane is married with two kids. He decided early on to trade changing diapers and bath time for the front burner, a modern day division of labor for the two income households. There was this choice, diapers, knives. And, uh, and that, wasn't, that, I, that, wasn't, that wasn't a very hard decision for me. His new book, How to Cook Like a Man, documents his cooking obsession from duck confit to bone-in prime rib. Dwayne has his very own blowtorch, a meat locker, and a small arsenal of knives. The kitchen has definitely become my man cave. Iron Chef America. Some say this cultural shift began with the cooking show. Somehow, some way, men are flipping through channels. This is my favorite pizza dough recipe. And, uh, and tuning in to watch celebrity chefs like Bobby Flay command the kitchen. It's about 50% of the people that watch my shows are men. I'll hear a lot of guys say to me, you know, I used to watch ESPN exclusively, but now I watch you on the Food Network. But don't tell my wife. <laughs> and with more men playing chef at home, cookware retailers are sitting up and taking notice. Because after all, if there's anything men simply can't get enough of, it's gadgets. We like to think of ourselves as a hardware store for people who like to cook. Websites, too, like Food Republic and ManTestedRecipes.com are catering to men who aren't afraid to don an apron and dice some shallots, masters of their own personal kitchen stadium. And Bobby Flay is here with some must-have gadgets for men in the kitchen. Bobby, good morning. Good morning. Should we beat our chests or what? No, not necessarily. I just think that... Um, you know, men are really finding their place in the kitchen more than ever before, and, and why not? It really is kind of like a sporting event. Okay, our first gadget is, what, a manly apron? Well, I, I, I like to use these bistro aprons. They're just long aprons, yeah. and to me, it just kind of gets me in the mood. I feel like uh, this is sort of my uniform to get going in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, and it's not too frilly or anything. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Very, very simple. At the top of our gadget's a knife sharpener. Why okay. do you like this one? Well, if you, have, if you want a sharp knife, you need a knife sharpener. This is actually a, uh, it's, a it's actually a diamond steel, and so it's actually made with, uh, with you know, particles of diamond and they and all you have to do is, is just kind of very carefully I mean, when you see chefs do this it looks like it's really impossible to do but basically you're just going one side one side on, on, on each side just a little bit like this and it helps actually to realign the blade so it keeps it nice and sharp and, and then like this knife and this knife is it, this knife is great it's too, this knife Wow, I can't even speak today. This knife is great as well. You want a knife. This knife has, actually has a nice beechwood um, handle to it, and you want it to be sharp. This is actually a forged knife, which means it's actually made out of one piece of steel as opposed to put together with lots of pieces. Okay? How often do you sharpen your knives? I sharpen them about once a week, but about once a year you want them sharpened by a professional. Um, and go to a store. Like Williams-Sonoma will actually let you try out the knife and then, you know, and see how you, how you feel with it. And you want it to feel good in your hand. Feel this knife. Does yeah. this feel comfortable to it you? It feels manly. I I'm feel, going to take this yeah. away from you right now. Okay. Okay. But you, right. but, but Good choice. Exactly, because you didn't look like you were ready to oh. start cutting steak. But anyway, so you know, you want something nice and uh, nice and sh now. Okay. He, th this board is beautiful. It looks like a piece of furniture. I actually have this one in my house. This yeah. is by Booz. It's an amazing piece of furniture. And look, it's made out of walnut wood. Okay, thermometer. Thermometer. Now, a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to see let let people see me. Um, 
you know, taking the temperature. So this one is kind of a stealth-like <laughs> thermometer, okay? Yeah. So you actually can, I can have it in your pocket, and then you, you put it in your roasted chicken, and you just, you know, you, you press a button, and it will tell you it's 155 degrees, yeah. and then you're okay. done. Now here's a man's blender. This thing it's is big the and deal. Manly. This, to me, it's, this is called a Vitamix. There's only one kind of blender. This is it. And this thing will actually blend up um, anything you need. In this case, if you wanted to make a smoothie, for instance, you know, just some bananas and yeah. some fruits and all that, you just blend it up. Here, we'll do it really quickly. Yeah. And we'll turn it on. And it's just, it's just like an incredible machine. It actually goes 240 miles an hour. That's how fast the blade is. Okay, 20 seconds okay, left. Here's the, the greatest deal. grilling equipment ever. Okay. If you want to light a grill, you must need a chim you must get a chimney starter. You put a little bit of paper in the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And you put the charcoal on the top. Yeah. You just fill it up and you light it. You light the paper and the paper lights the charcoal. And then in about 15 minutes, you have perfect, perfectly lit charcoal and you put it in the grill and you're done. All right. You're ready. Fire, knives, and meat. Exactly. We understand why men like the kitchen. Bobby Flay, thank you. My pleasure. And coming up next, best-selling author Daniel Silva on his new.